All right, so I just wanted to make a video on the process, the chemical process on paper of nitric acid refining. I've made some videos actually doing that in my garage and showing the process of how to do it, but I wanted to just make a video showing the reactions on paper uh, for those that are interested in that sort of thing. So first, let's start off with the symbols. Um, AG is the symbol for silver. Okay. Um, the other one we'll be dealing with is HNO3, and that's your nitric acid. All right. Uh, the next item that you'll see will be Cu, which is copper. And then there'll be some other products. Um, I can put this here, although you probably already know it. This is water. Now, in the videos, I dilute my nitric acid with water. I'm not going to show all that. I don't want it to be too complicated. I just want this to be uh, the simple basics of this chemical equation, all right? So, when you first, the first part of getting your silver uh, dissolved into your nitric acid, what you're doing is you're adding silver, AG, so this is our silver, plus the nitric acid. Okay? Nitric acid. And what that's going to do is it's going to produce silver nitrate, which is AG, NO3. It will also produce nitrogen dioxide, and that's the dangerous stuff that you don't want to breathe in. And it will produce H2O. All right, so excuse my starting big and getting smaller, but I realized I was running out of room there. So here you have your silver nitrate. And here you have your nitrogen dioxide. And then this is just H2O water. I don't think I need to write that. You probably all know what that is. So then, once you've done this process, here's what you've got in solution, okay? Plus there's water. And then here, this is that gas that goes up, okay? And this is the stuff that you do not want to breathe in, right? This is the bad stuff here uh, that you do not want because it's very bad for your lungs and as I've said in other videos it can cause death and the symptoms may not show up uh, until a couple weeks after. So this is the bad stuff that comes out, but this is the good stuff. This is the whole reason we're doing it, that silver nitrate. Now, how do you get the silver to come out? Um, in the video, I used uh, hydrochloric acid to get it out, but I'm going to show the other method in this video where you add this with copper, or rather you add copper into this. So then what that's going to do is that's going to give you silver nitrate plus copper and that will produce copper nitrate and then silver precipitate okay so now you have your solid silver coming out of solution and copper goes into solution so solid copper solid copper goes into solution here the silver, which is in solution here, comes out over here and is a solid. Okay, so there is that reaction. Now, to balance that out, I'll flip to another piece of paper here. So we said you had AgNO3, that's your silver nitrate, plus copper and that produced copper nitrate and silver. So you start off over here 
with your silver, your nitrate, and your copper. Okay, and as it's written, we've got one of each. And then what we end up with on the other side is one silver, two nitrates, it only applies to what's in the parentheses, so two nitrates, and one copper. So to balance these two, we have to have two here. So we'll just put a two up there, which will give us our two nitrates, two and two, one copper, one copper, but now we have two silver and one silver, so we have to add a two over here and then a two there. All right, and that'll be your silver precipitate. So here's the balanced equation of what you wind up with. After you add your silver to your nitric acid, you will have silver nitrate nitric dioxide, which is poisonous, and water. Then you take the silver nitrate solution plus solid copper, and what you'll get when those ions switch around is a solution of copper nitrate, so the copper goes into solution, and silver precipitate. And if we balance it out so that we have that correct, we'll have two AgNO3, silver nitrate plus solid copper will give us copper nitrate plus the two uh, silver there in the precipitates. So then that's your precipitated silver, which then can be made into a uh, bar or round or whatever once you melt it down and pour it into a mold, then you'll have your silver bullion. So anyway, that's just a short little video I wanted to make showing you the chemical equation and how that all works on paper. We know that things on paper don't always work out that way, or I should say things in real life don't always work out perfectly as they do on paper. There's other things that can get in there and mess it up, but this is the way it will work in a perfect world. So I hope you enjoyed that and uh, learned something from it.